What's going on guys, John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, we're going to make sure only you can update your user profile for our app with Flask and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at updating the user profile and making sure that only you, the correct logged in user, can update your user profile. As it is right now, anybody can update anybody's user profile. And you can see we've got Tim Elder as one, we've got John Elder as another. You notice here, I'm not even logged in and I can come here and I can make a change. So we've got two problems here. One, you don't even have to be logged in in order to update a user. Two, Tim can update John and John can update Tim and vice versa and we can't have that. So that's what we're gonna look at in this video. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Flask videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. Okay, so let's take a look at our hello.py file. So let's go ahead and search for the update function. And it looks like there it is. So you can see our URL is update slash an ID. If we look back at the website, we see I've got two update pages here. This is for John Elder, it's update slash one. This one's for Tim Elder, our other user, it's update slash two. And those are the user IDs, right? So first off, let's make sure that you have to be logged in in order to do anything on this page. And we already know how to do that. We've looked at that in past videos. All we have to do is come up here and add this at login underscore required guy. So now if we come back here, let's reload this thing. Uh oh, you gotta be logged in. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. I'm gonna log in as Tim. That's our other user. That was password one, two, three. Okay, so we can come to Tim's dashboard. Now there's no problems here. Only you can see your dashboard. So I can't log into John Elder's dashboard unless I log in as John Elder. So there's no problem updating the profile on this page. But if we click right here, this goes to the actual update user page. We still have that, which is update slash two. And we only want, in this case, Tim Elder to be able to update this page. So what do we do? Well, let's come through here and look at our code. And you can see right here, this is where we're passing in stuff to this page. So we're passing in the form, we're passing in a name to update and we're passing in the ID. The ID is this number right up here. This is the ID of the user you're trying to update. So we know who we're trying to update. Now we just need to know who you are. And then we need to compare those two numbers. If they match, then great, you can update this thing. If they don't match, you can't update it. So very simple. And I'm just gonna come through here. And let's just put this on the page. Let's go to our templates and let's find that update page, update.html. And you can see we've got this if statement, if name. But if we look through here, we're not passing a name. So this must have been from some old video. So we don't actually even need this if statement. So let me just sort of get rid of it. So let's get rid of this if else statement. And then down here at the bottom, we'll get rid of the corresponding end if. So let's save this, just reload this page real quick and just to make sure that worked okay. Okay, so nothing changed here. So now, Let's look back at this page and let's play around here. So we've got this update user section. Let me put another line break and let me put in ID to update. And here we can just pass in that ID. And here let's put current ID and we don't have anything for that yet. So let's go back here and refresh this page and see what we've got here. So ID to update is two. We know that because right there is two. If we go to John Elder's update page and hit reload, it says ID to update one because John Elder's ID is one. Tim Elder's ID is two. So we know the ID that we want to update. Now we just need to know what our current ID, the current logged in user's ID. How do we get that? Super easy. We can just call current underscore user dot ID, right? And we've played around with this current user thing in past videos, so we're already sort of aware of what that is. So come back here and hit reload. But before we do that, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. All right, so let's go ahead and reload this guy. And boom, now we see the current ID of me, Tim, is two. If we come back to John Elder's page, we see the ID we want to update is one. The current ID, our ID is two. So these two don't match. So we need some sort of mechanism that says, hey, if they don't match, don't let the user update this page. If they do, let them update it. So how do we do that? Well, let's head back over to our code. Super easy. We just use these two things. So right up here at the top, I'm just going to create a new if statement. So if ID equals double equal two signs, current underscore user dot ID, then we want to do something. 
And we can get rid of all this stuff. We don't actually need to do any of that. So if they match, then put the form up on the page, right? Here's our form. I'm gonna do all the stuff, right? And uh, all that good stuff. Else, we could just come down here, and say else, something else. And we also wanna end our if statement. So let's go end if. So what do we wanna do for the else? Well, let's come up here to the top. We've got this little flash message thing. We can copy that and bring it down here. Maybe we wanna put a little message up on the screen. We could say, sorry, you can't edit this user, dot, 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 whatever. Anything else you wanna put on the page, you can. So maybe down here, we want an H2 tag that says access denied, something, I don't know. And then, sorry, you cannot access this user profile. I don't know, anything you want, right? So let's go ahead and save this, come back over here, hit reload. Now let's go and check our page first. So this is our logged in user, Tim. So we hit reload, the form appears. We can edit this. Everything looks fine. It works perfectly well. Okay, now if we come back over to this page, this is John Elder's user profile. If we hit reload here, uh-oh, access denied. Sorry, you cannot access this page. Sorry, you can't edit this user. We got this little thing and it works perfectly well. If we wanna log out and log back in as John, that's password one, two, three. Here we are on John Elder's profile page. Now we can update this user because now we're logged in as John Elder, right? That works perfectly fine. If we come back to Tim's page, update two, oh, no, we can't edit this page because now we're logged in as John, we're not logged in as Tim, and it's just that easy. So we've used these things before, the current user ID and this ID for other things. This is a super easy way to make this happen. I suppose you could probably do the same thing in our view here. So I don't know, maybe you could do it there. Uh, this is just as easy. This is not a lot of code to put on the page, one line here basically, and then you know a couple more end and else's down here. So as far as keeping code off a page, not a big deal, not much code here and it works pretty quick and easy, and that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships. It pays $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.